In this video, I will talk about how can we give memory to our QA system. So, this QA system is based on some documents which you can take as an input, and then whatever you are asking, based on that, you can ask next question. So, no need to provide the context again, no need to rewrite the previous question. Rather, you can just continue asking your questions based on the previous questions which you have already asked. So let's get started with it and here we will be using OpenAI Langchain and the programming language would be Python. So let's get started and the very first thing we need is we need to import all the required packages. So I'm going to get started with Langchain. So Langchain.embeddings.openAI and here we will import OpenAI embeddings. Next thing we need is for document loader. So langchain dot document loaders import text loader. So if you are not sure, I mean if you are not dealing specifically with text, then you need not to go with text loader. You can just go with a document loader or you have CSV loader, whatever file you are trying to load. So in my case, I am reading text file. So I am taking this text loader. Next thing is we need to provide this conversation in a form of chain. So for that we need a conversational retrieval chain here. So let's go ahead and import that to Lang chains. And here we have import conversational retrieval chain. Apart from that, we also need some memory. So let's go ahead and import that Langchain dot memory import conversation buffer memory okay so once these things are done next thing is we need some internal memory or where we are going to store so I'm not making this as a persistent system but we will do everything in memory so till date we were using chroma and I believe a lot many people are facing issues with installation and all those so this time I am going to use FES which is Facebook AI similarity search so let's go ahead and import that Langchain dot vector stores and this time vector store is fes. So full form is let me repeat again. Uh, let me repeat as Facebook AI similarity search. So if you want to install this, either you have to install face hyphen CPU or you can directly go with face depending on which Python version is available on your machine. Okay, once this is done, let me import open AI. LLMs import OpenAI. It should be capital. Okay, and then uh, we may need tick token or let's put it on hold. The last thing, which is my configuration. So, this is the file in which I am holding my OpenAI key. So, rather than exposing, I will just read it directly from here. Okay, so let's run this first. Okay. Then the very first thing we need is to load our document. So for that, I'm going to create a variable name text loader, uh, which will take my file name. It is in, uh, kept in the same directory, so I need not to provide any complete path. It will just pick it relatively. And then we'll say docs equal to text loader dot load. Let's go ahead and print this so that you can see what is in my document okay so my document is like in the form of commas this is a comma separated file but I have stored it as in text and you can see it is having re information related to movie as well as series title description generate the popular uh, popularity the release year and all those things you are having here so there are around 12 to I think 13 rows I am having in this particular file Okay, we are done with our document reading. Next thing is we need to initialize the buffer, memory buffer. So I will name it as memory and we'll say conversation buffer memory. And here if you will see, uh, let me put it here. So here you can see uh, these are the various parameters you can set. And when you are setting with memory, you can uh, say what kind of memory. Is it like chat history, Q&A history, whatever you want. You can just define it over here. So I will make it as 
chat history and we'll say return messages equal true okay and then I'm going to define my Q&A chain which is retrieval chain so whatever I'm doing these all things like which class is this what all uh, these things are doing you can read it from the documentation so I'm not discussing more about its theoretical part but let's go ahead with implementation so from LLM and inside that you need to define your LLM so here it would be my open AI which will take open AI API key let's read it from my configuration and once this is done we need to define the vector store so I would say vector store dot as retrieval it should come okay T retriever and then we need to define memory which we just declared above here in the above statement so this is the same thing I'm initializing over here so let me see if I'm missing something here okay we'll see we'll run and we'll get to know if anything is not correct the next thing we need is we need to define our query so for query I will create a variable this and let's type in some question here which is the latest movie so this is uh, this question I want to be answered based on the document which I have supplied here so which is the latest movie then we'll say result it is based on our Q&A chain so inside Q&A chain you need to provide your query so let's define it over here okay so this is our query which we are supplying to our Q&A chain and we'll go ahead and just say print result and here it would be under answer no need to in fact print this because this will be automatically taken care so now it will tell you which is the latest movie so this is the movie according to my document this was the last released movie okay let's ask some more questions which are related to this particular movie so we can create let me copy this here and instead of this question I would ask uh, uh, let's say what is its popularity score so is its popularity score so this is our second question and here we are giving the same thing let's go ahead and execute this so 8.311 is the popularity score so you may you have noticed that I have not provided which movie it is or what it is let me go ahead and quickly check in my document if this is the case okay so let's search for it so this is the fifth row this is the movie and its popularity score is 8.311 and this is what we are getting over here so in this way you can ask questions based on the previous conversations which you had and everything will be responded from this particular document only so this is how easy it is just you need to like read your text file set your memory set your Q&A chain with whatever the LLM you want to use your vector store uh, vector store you want to use and just start shooting your questions so I hope you find this small video useful and if you really enjoyed watching this make sure to give me thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you have not already done thanks for watching